And welcome back to Rugby League headquarters, the Sydney Football Stadium housing quite a big crowd. It's certainly not capacity, but uh, full of expectation. Manly and Cronulla. They've provided some great battles this year. Of course, it was Cronulla that got the prize down at Brookvale. That was the day Owen Cunningham was sent off. Manly played with 12 for a, a goodly part of the, uh, the match down there. But 73 and 78, they went to the grand finals. 10-7 in 73. Ah, Fulton starring for Manly. Tommy Bishop led the Sharks. 78, of course, it was a, a horror stretch for Manly. They played a draw with Parramatta coming through the semis. They went back on the Tuesday to get rid of Parramatta. Then they came back to meet Cronulla and they drew again. So they turned it around and came back three days later and played it all over again. Without doubt, it was the greatest show of uh, stamina ever by a club winning the grand final. Manley coming down the tunnel. No Jeff Tuvey, Matthew Ridge takes them out. Big crowd of Manly supporters have come across the bridge and under the tunnel. And after last night, and of course Friday night and yesterday, why wouldn't one think they're going to see something special? Ridge is four points off, breaking Wombat Edie's record. Cronulla now. The most informed captain of them all, Andrew Eddinghausen. Not a team boasting the big names, but they get the job done. They don't, they don't offer you very much. There's one of their big names. He's been under a cloud, Les, Les Davidson. And one of our big names is sideline, Steve Blogger Roach. Yeah, unbelievable atmosphere here. Cronulla have won the toss and we're running left to right. The only little thing that worries me, me about Cronulla, they've had a magnificent season, no doubting that. They've beaten everybody, but they haven't had to come from behind. Manly's tactics will be to get a couple of tries on the board early and let's see if these Sharkies can catch them. David Gillespie. Magnificent year for him. And here's the man in charge, Paul McBlain. He calls time on and Manly running right to left. This is not sudden death, but one of them will be confronted with that problem next weekend. Smashing tackle the first from Nick Kosseff. And that is Sean Ryan in the side for Nathan Long. The blonde-headed forward will make his appearance from the bench. Now Danny Lee. About 33 metres out from the... Cronulla line and Craig Gr Gr Greenhill it is that reaches the 40 and gets beyond it. From Raper away now to the playmaker Healy. His kick bouncing menacingly close to the sideline. Ridge was left in two minds and then Ettinghausen as he has been all year leading the chase. And that's a better result than finding the try line. That's two the sideline I'm sorry. That's two tackles gone now. Manly players still coming back on side. And unfortunately, the Sharks have undone all their good work by getting in front of the referee to concede a penalty for the 10 metres. Ridge finding the line. First penalty of the game goes to Manley. Minor premiers. And here's Carroll now launching himself at uh, Tawira Nikau. Haslam now working it off to the right. And Gillespie it is that takes it ahead. And here they are again, the Sharks. You'll remember they met them at Brookvale with a 21-gun salute, really. Everybody was on the decks. And I remember Peter Sterling saying that Manly were losing ground in possession. Such was the intensity of the Cronulla defence. Big Roberts lumbers up to the 30-metre line. Play on the far side of the SFS as they come across and use the ground on the left for Manly. Lyons puts the kick in. There's plenty of time here for Cronulla's Samet, although here comes a chaser out of, uh, out of right field. And Samet will be ruining the fact that he probably went back rather lethargically. He had a big start on the chasers. Jeff Turby looking unhappy about that one. He didn't get the best of bounces, Samet. Nice kick from Lyons, looking for this uh, result which he got in the end. The ball just kept bouncing away, then it took a, a ditchy dude out of the corner. And plenty of manly jumpers there. He's going to be the tormentor, isn't he? Cliff Lyons and 
I think a lot of people don't realise that he was actually graded by Cronulla first. He's played at three wins for cup clubs. Ross and then Manly. But he started off with the Sharks. Great tackle by Greenhill. That's not a pleasant sight. Mark Carroll coming at you head on. Now, the number nine, Des Hasler. He's within 12 metres of the line. They come left from Danny Moore for Roberts. Five out, early seconds of the semi-final or quarter-final. The major out of the Lions and then the Menzies. Menzies gets it away. And John Hopawate. Hopawate gets the try. Well, that's the combination that's been successful all year. Cliff Lyons picking up Steve Menzies, and he hits the ball straight. Another defence coming up, a wide pass to Lyons. As we freeze play there, you can see Menzies is actually straightened up to come straight. That makes it very, very difficult for that Cronulla defender as play continues. Wrong-footed, misses the tackle. And Menzies, he's got a couple of options on the outside. Barnett looking to knock the ball down, but Hopawati received the pass. Great start for the Eagles. A beautiful long ball there from Kossif. And Cronulla's line was never straight. It was always at right angles. They weren't in position and outnumbered. And uh, in the end, very easy for the Eagles there. 21st try of the year for John Popawate. Second outright to Menzies. Just for a moment, I thought it was going to be Menzies scoring his 22nd try. And here's the problem confronting Matthew Ridge from the sideline. As I mentioned, four points off Graham Eadie's individual all-time record for the club. And now... And now it's only two points. Ridge converts. Four minutes gone. Manly six for another nothing. So we're back with Mitch Healy taking us into the second session. Ridge. Goes back to the try scorer. And Hopawate is brought down just inside the 20 metre line. The five is else good. Manley just outside the 20 metre line on the second tackle. And there is Carroll on his third hit up in the match so far. Gillespie now beyond the 30 metre line. Manley buoyed by probably the ease of that try. Carroll one more time, Hasler, across the ridge to clear from 35 metres out from his own line, Samet coming off his own 10 metre line, the Manly chase is good, Samet tries to open them up, he does well, brought down 35 out from his own line, Samet one of several young Cronulla players that were in grand finals last year. Something like six have gone through from the reserve grade grand final and the President's Cup from last year. That's an, an enormous turnover. If you can get one or two going through to first grade, it's normally a pretty good result for you. But to have so many, that's why the Sharks have done so well. A lot of young faces out there and very good players. Yeah, Samad and Sean Ryan were in the 21s grand final last year. Bell did well. Nick Nickow, was there a knock on? Yes, there was. This could have been danger for Manly. They had some numbers there, Cronulla. In the end, uh, a knock-on has been ruled by referee McBlain. Jeff Bell there, beats one. Nice covering tackle by Kossif. And Desi Hasler forces the mistake after the loose ball throw. It's been being worked on the far side of the ground by Des Hasler. And this is Cliff Lyons. And between them, they must hold some kind of a record for the aggregate age of a half and five-eighths. Sterling and Kenny never got anywhere near that, did they? There's a player being called out. It's Les Davidson. I was about to make the comments unusual that he's not the oldest player in the game. It's just a caution. It's for grabbing the player uh, between the leagues. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing in this manly side for both Fulton's the versatility of their players, isn't it? I mean, Steve Menzies can play anywhere in the back line in the forwards. And now Hasler and Lyons can vary themselves around between hooker and halfback and 5'8". Owen Cunningham can play anywhere in the forwards. 
Here's Cronulla with a quick turnover. They had four on three. Hopawade across in defence, putting Bell down. 48 metres out from their own line, the Sharks. Cunningham it was, working off Lions that uh, coughed up possession. This is Danny Lee now, right on the 40 metre line, where Manley's entered the park. He just hurt himself in that last tackle, John Hopawate, as Les Davidson goes centre field and loses the football that's been raked out. Penalty to Cronulla. Reddinghausen signalling towards the posts. Michele, he's got one right in front for his first kick of the game, but it's a fair way out, 38 metres. What about the breeze blocker? Favouring or against? No, it would be in favour of Manly at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed, Mark Carroll went over on his ankle in, the, in his first hit-up. Manly can't afford to lose him. He's the one that takes him forward right from all the taps and in the first place. Well, both he and Hopawate are struggling out there at the moment. Hopawate actually pushed... Craig Hancock into the centres at one stage. So that's the high view of Mitch Healy in relation to the posts. Right in the centre. He's only had 14 shots at goal this year. Vital Cole in the Cronulla make-up. His kick is on its way. Looks OK. Looks better than that. It looks beautiful for the Sharks. 6-2, Manly after nine. Well, what a confidence builder that will be for Mitch Healy. We spoke about Matthew Rich kicking for Manly. He's got an 83% success rate this year. That's unbelievable. It's even up on his effort last year. Mitch Healy... He struck the first one beautifully. It was never going to miss. So Ridge restarts. Come down and away from Samet, and he sends Danny Lee back. Not Danny Lee, but uh, the other front row forward, Les Davidson, back. Ooh, strong tackle by Carroll. And Danny Moore got involved from Green. They go across to the 5'8 and find the lock out wide. Nice play. Very cohesive. Healy put down on the end of a great raid. Cronulla looking great. Green. Nickow handling again. Eddinghausen. He puts a down play on. Nickow. Third time he's handled it. Got it away. Reaper gets it on for Samet. Smashed into the ground. Ah, good stuff. They're still going. Green. Healy, away, Bell, Hubbawati's got him with Hancock. Five gone to the air, would you think? He goes back to the blind side, his captain's over there. Barnett's got it. Barnett, did he get it down? I think he's going to give it. No, held up, held up. Well, it was a deliberate kick back to the blind side. I thought Andrew Eddinghausen might have drifted offside. Barnett plucks it out of the air, takes it away from Matthew Ridge. We'll get a pretty good view of it here, as does the in-goal judge. Ridge must have the hand under the ball. Remember a similar try scored by Mitch Healy at Brookvale, and it brought the worst of Matthew Ridge out. Remember that when he blew up? He wouldn't have been happy if that had have been allowed. Mark Carroll. Fatty, in that last exchange, we saw the importance of Nick Howe, didn't we? Scouting out wide, it gives them an extra dimension. It's unusual for Manly to get caught uh, shorter numbers out wide in defence. They've uh, it's happened to them a couple of times so far today. Is now yeah, Clippy Lyons goes through. Lyons is through and over the halfway. Danny Moore on the way to the right. Ridge comes back with his kick onto the blind side. Samet has had no luck with the bouncing ball. Put the ring around him and tackle him back on his own 10-metre line. This is Barnett, who was so close to being over. It was some enterprising attack by, by Cronulla early in that, uh, in that sequence there, but Manly scrambling defence has got to be admired. They've got the best defensive record in the league. 
you can break their line, but it's still very hard to come up with long-range tries. And they do regroup very quickly. They're under pressure for the last three tackles. Came up with the ball from the held up in goal. The next time Cronulla touched it was down near their own line. Healy has turned Ridge around. Ridge off his 10-metre line. And the kicker puts them all on side. Bateman was down there. He's playing in four. The Welshman playing on the right wing. Craig Hancock. I think a couple of warning shots here from Mitch Healy too. He is making Matthew Ridge play a hell of a lot deeper. And he does have an excellent chip game for Andrew Weddinghausen. If they can get Matt Ridge to go deep, don't be surprised if we see some short kicks come in later in the half. Carroll could be struggling with that ankle. Now they come back for Lyons and oh, Green went up, put the pressure on him. Lyons got rid of him. Green is hurt in back play. He hasn't got up the half back. Barnett brings it back, but it's a penalty. And Cookie Lyons was hit after he kicked that football. He is still down, just making his way up now. There's Paul Green. He came up with the initial charge through. He can't get his breath, Paul. He's pointing at his throat. Cookie Lyons taken out by Danny Lee there. Great work from Cliff Lyons to evade the, the first man coming through to put the pressure on position to drive it down 40 or 50 metres and give now Matthew Ridge a chance to add some points. Just caught one up around the, the, the throat area. It was accidental. Danny Lee just going on with the tackle when it wasn't needed. So out on the 30 metre line. 14 and a half minutes gone. Manly. They've won five grand finals. The last was in 87 under the captaincy of Paul Vorton. The last grand final at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Must have been a good side. Seven times they've been runners up. They've been to 12 grand finals. Here's Rich. 30 out. Direction perfect. And the fat man's got his hands up, so it must be a goal. 8 2. To stick to commentating, don't become a touchdown. Do you mind? I think we're down. I don't think I've ever seen a better goal kicker than this bloke, Matthew Ritz. He's just unbelievable, isn't he? There's some great ones around, Halligan and the likes, but uh, he's just something else. And that puts enormous pressure on the opposition, doesn't it? You, you, you know that you can't come up with an indiscretion really anywhere in your own half because he's going to four times out of five put it over. Jack Elsgood. Not comfortable, the big fella. His ankles are carrying a fair bit of weight. Hapawadi puts a fend on. It's a successful fend. It's put him into space. He comes back inside. He reaches the 30. The support's there. Hancock to the 20. And he's held. Eddinghausen waving frantically for help on the right for Cronulla. Lyons goes that way. Kosef, Ridge, down, Minzi. Ten metres out. Now, Danny Moore. There's Hasler. Cronulla's got their line set again now. The last. So probably go to Cliffy. On the second play, they put it through the hands. Ridge. Back down and away for Lyons, and then a big pass back for Danny Moore. Steps off his left foot, turns it in field. The kick's through, still a chance. No, forced, forced by Cronulla in front of the clutching hands of Owen Cunningham. Probably the last person who wanted the ball to go to on the fifth tackle was Owen Cunningham, but look what he's done. He's come up with a great play. A little grubber through there, put the pressure on Samet, and OJ covered it up. and. Another set for Manly, but what a great burst by John Hopawate a couple of minutes ago. He's beaten seven of them in a 50-metre run. He's the most improved player in the game, John Hopawate, isn't he? He's got to be the Rookie of the Year. Great work here, so strong. Outside Bell, looked like he was covered there. Got through Danny Lee, Paul Green missed him as well. And found Hancock in support. The support play of Manly is so good. They're stamping their authority on this game. 
20 minutes. Carroll puts them on a good foundation to launch another raid. And this is Roberts, and now Hasler providing for Kosev to go back to the blind for Ridge. Ridge ran at them, then weaved away from them, but there's been a Shepherd. An obstruction penalty, Cronulla. Yeah, switch gone wrong there from the Mealy side. As Matthew Ridge uh, dilly dally a little bit in the middle of the ruck. Had nowhere to go, but here's uh, the incident here. Cronulla players there, not able to get to Ridge. And a perfectly legitimate penalty. Craig Grinhill, the man who couldn't make the tackle. So Mitch Healy finding the line about five metres on his side. And Greenhill, really a lightweight second rower, plays many kilos above his weight. Davidson, and there's a penalty against Manley inside the 10, or was it the markers? Raper finds the line. Healy sort of waved to him and said, you take the kick for line. And Healy has stayed out very wide. He'll be on the end of this pass, he is. And now Eddinghausen, he's come from the left of the ground to operate on the right. 10 metres out from the Manly line. Bateman into the hands of Green. A diving pass into the chest of Nickow. And uh, Tawira running on his own. They're setting up for this play. Greenhill works the decoy. Raper, Raper, a metre from the line. Here he finds himself at acting hard. Green calling it on the right. He's with it. Around the back of Eddinghausen. Bell. Bell is a couple of metres out. Manley's defence. Holding. Eddinghausen for Green. A cutout pass. Wide for Nickow. Nickow put down 10 out. Five tackles gone. Manley have to hold them one more time. Healy. The bomb across the ground for the jump. Oh, Andrew had it and lost it. Andrew had it and lost it. I think you'll find there'll be a Cronulla penalty here. I saw a Cronulla player taken out by Danny Moore. And the touch, he couldn't wait to get on there. Tremendous kick from Mitch Healy. He was under pressure. And the number four Bateman was pushed out of it. You picked it. The kick for goal here, that surprises me. Mm -hmm. Might try and keep the pressure on. What about the fat man since he's had Mick Stone on the footy show panel? He's, oh, he's not missing a beat. He's on top of the rules now. So far we've had a, a dipsy doodle and a dipsy doodah. Here he is Dally. again. He, he called this before the touch judge. I'm surprised too, Peter, that they're having a shot at goal there. They're playing good football, but mainly they just seem to be under a little bit of pressure, and Cronulla are playing very well, uh, throwing the ball from side to side and threatening this manly line. The trouble is he's got to try and kick this dead, hasn't he, to make the kick worth it. He might score some tries, Steve Mentes, but he saved one there too with the tackle on Aaron Raper under the posts. But the hooker had snuck through. Did anybody ask themselves the question that there might have been a professional foul there? No, I, I thought it was just a careless kind of thing. I don't think it was too deliberate. Penalty was would suffice, I reckon. Just inquiring. 21 minutes into the game. Another very good quarter final. The kick from Healy. It's there. Eight points to four now. Manly over Cronulla. Lane. Oh, great decision. Never in doubt. Had the kick. Just gave you a break. So Ridge starts the next session. So 
first tackle on the new set. The, the carry back performed by Les Davidson. And now this is Ryan. On his own 20 metre line. Danny Lee. Nickow. Raper, just a bit slow getting there. Green on for Healy to clear. It's one of the game's best kickers, Mitch Healy. He finds it at what some people call the T-junction. The big mule there, David Hoskins, one of the favourite sons. Next to Jeff Tooby, of course. Great nickname. How have you seen the battle block? Oh, I think it's been outstanding in the forwards. Oh. Manly's defence, scrambling defence is unbelievable. The thing with it is, Pete, that they've got confidence in each other just to make one-on-one -on -one tackles, and that's the difference. Moore out in the centres. Koseth. Center for Carroll. Mark, uh, enjoying his first Father's Day. Maybe during the week, and now it's with Davidson. It's tremendous work. Mitch Healy took the intercept and threw the, the pass into one motion. This is Greenhill. 30 metres out from the Manly line. They've been up there, they've tested it. They can't get across that line. Danny Lee driven down under the shoulders. Cunningham is strong, isn't he? Green, Healy, dummies to the second row of Ryan. Picks up Bell, going straight. Now, back with Paul Green. He goes back to the play the ball area and finds Barnett. And Barnett has run into Ian Roberts. Not a good pastime. Five gone, Raper on for Healy. They're all on side. Eddinghausen taken out of it, I thought, by Hasler, but it's a try. It'll be a try. Cronulla's got it. Paul the Green. little bloke has scored it. Paul Green, the little, the little pilot. He's got on a stepladder, Paul Green. Flown high, again, a beautifully placed kick. Thought it might have been a touch long, but look at the height of that one. And Paul Green climbing over Matthew Rich, who was unbalanced, had two grabs at it. The second oh, one. Mate. He flies, he flies light aircraft as a pastime. He he's he's a, higher than a tiger muff. He thought he was in a Cessna here. Up he goes for it. Once again, the great kicking of Mitch Healy. How many tries has it got Cronulla over the last eight weeks when they've been unbeaten? And that, and that all came from a manly mistake. A Dave Gillespie pass that went astray. And of course, Paul, that last decision to kick for goal, a very good one for the penalty, taking the four oh, points. Never in doubt. This is the work from Mitch Healy. Look at that. The intercept throws the pass. And Davidson straightens things up. Has played 45 consecutive first grade games for Cronulla. The young man on screen has played with a fractured cheekbone at times. They booed the club in the first match last year and has not missed a game. I still say that Eddinghausen was taken out. Hasler did a real job on Eddinghausen. The scrutineers in the box are now asking, was he onside? You might have guessed that one of them follows Manly. <laughs> well, I think we might have another one coming on here, boys. We've had three, three rippers. Eight points all. Thirteen and a half minutes. Healy! Healy! Are up. New leader. Sharkies 10 8. 
Now, where's where's Green? Oh, I think he's offside. No doubt about it. Just picked it out of the corner of the eye. Didn't want to go off too early. Let me tell you, but he's dead set offside. Ridge. Davo comes back. He runs into the shoulder of Roberts. Raper. Raper a couple of times has been crawling along the ground. Every available centimetre they're grabbing. Bell on the halfway line. Hasn't he been impressive? Jeff Bell. Raper inside a speculator. Nick Alpha Green tackled on the 20 metre line. Here's the last. Healy. Eddinghausen. Bateman. Got it away. Ryan. That's the turnover. Cronulla is certainly testing Manly on both sides of the field, running the ball from one sideline to the other. Big men like Carroll and Gillespie, very slow to get back now, starting to feel the pinch of the pace of the game. It's the one thing Cronulla have on a lot of sides. They're all not so big, but they are extremely quick. Their hands are good, and they keep you moving around the whole time. Cronulla playing out their sets of six too. The last uh, try, of course, came after a turnover. They just wear you down, the Sharks. Gillespie on the fifth. Bridge might have come off uh, Healy. In fact, I think he called at the referee. This is Sammet. Manly have beaten all the other finals contenders. Haven't beaten this mob though. Cronulla. Bateman. Barnett. Barnett. Well, that's pretty ordinary manly defence. A quick play of the ball, they might have got a penalty, they have. They, they played for the penalty and they got it. Tide has turned, hasn't it? First 20 minutes, all manly. Canola now starting to get some possession and get it at this end of the field. Healy's kicking has been superb in all areas, and that's another good one. 15 metres out, six tackles up their sleeve. Now the Sharks, inside the 20, Ittinghausen decoy, Samad in from the back. 11 out. Bell. Greenville. Put away by Gillespie. Rape chooses to go open. Green on. Healy holds it back. Eddinghausen, second man play. Strides out of the would-be tackle. Puts the fend up, but Des Hasler puts him away. Cunningham, slow to rise in back play. Lee, put away on the 10-metre line. Another test for the Manly, the Manly line. Now, Eddinghausen, smashed by Carroll. The fifth, they come to the blind side, and... It's Elsgood, Elsgood, Elsgood put down, line drop out. Yes, they're wearing away Cronulla now. They've got their good little kicking game going. A pearler here from Aaron Raper. Plenty of support, Elsgood tried his darndest to get out. A speed merchant. Big Steve on the sidelines. I think we've got another one. It's been a good day at the office. Yeah, it's been a sensational game. The only worry I've got is uh, Cliffy Lyons. His right hand arm has been dangling for the last 10 minutes. He hasn't made a tackle on that side yet. I think we're going to see a double change for Manly and Cronulla. Hamano and Gartner coming on. I think it'll be, as Gus alluded to, the two front rows that'll be replaced. They're a bit slow to get back at the moment. So 30 metres out from the Manly line. Cronulla setting up another raid. Played by Bateman. Raper directs. Healy juggles, Nickow, 
out in the centres. He's providing them with a third centre, Nick Hour. Long and Adam Richard have both thought for Cronulla, so there's a double change for them as well. Six again, signal by the referee. This is Long. Raper. Raper into the arms of Danny Lee. Shovels away a manly defender. Hancock hangs on. And here they are on the 10 metre line. They come back to go forward. And they send Ritson to within seven metres. Raper goes the other way. Runs away from his playmaker. Two metres out from the line. Barnett. Barnett is over. Barnett is over. Cronulla. They get their second try. And it's just constant pressure that has seen that try scored. A little bit like last night. Steve Wallace diving over. The marker defence, the close-in defence, couldn't get organised quickly enough. A worry, Jeff Toovey. They've had a lot of footy down this end of the field. Mr. the play of the ball. As we freeze it there, the markers are slow getting up. That's the wide man. Look at the space in here. And when the play unfolds, Barnett dives in behind. Nick Kosseff. They yeah. were just very ordinary getting set. Yeah, too much football for Cronulla. And the Manly players there turning their back, which you should never do, obviously, to all the young kids. Turn your back on the play of the ball. And he just strolled over. But they're putting on plenty of variety around the rucks. They're turning the ball inside and out, run around. They're playing extremely well with a lot of possession. Manly have had to make 94 tackles as compared to Cronulla's 68. But Chile would love to put this one over to keep his 100% record intact. It would put them eight points clear, more than a converted try, not far out from halftime. Well, what a turnaround. Manly getting away to a great start. Here's Healy's kick, and it's just wide. So 14 points to eight. Cronulla over Manly as the coach sneeringly looks on. I think could we get a little smile just occasionally from you coaches, Gus? I see Gus smiling on the sideline there one day. Probably back the winner of the third at Randwick. Word from Barnett coming in, taking some pressure off the forwards. Aaron Raper normally at dummy half. That's see Fatty's the only coach I've seen smile during the game. Couldn't stop it. So Manly, you better believe it, they are in arrears as Ritson comes back, 14 points to eight. As I said, they got away to a great start. And I immediately put a question mark on whether Cronulla could play catch-ups and get back. They've done that, they've answered that question on the scoreboard. Out making that tackle in Jersey 15 is on for David Gillespie. Ritson. Also on as well. Gore will find the line and does. Gillespie with the head down. Two tries to one. Ramono on for Manly. He's in the front row for Manly. Big push by Cronulla. They thought they had a chance of winning that scrum. Lyons. That is Daniel Gartner. Hancock. There was some good work out of dummy half for Cronulla, Aaron Raper, Gus, but something a little bit sus in his game at times as Kossett needs to get outside. Yeah, particularly running the ball from dummy half in his own half, he's got a tendency to sprint out and then dive on the ground without a tackler actually getting, coming in contact with him. I rated the voluntary tackle. You'll see here he's got no intent other than just to get to the ground and get up and play the ball, and I rate that pretty much a voluntary tackle, something he does pretty regularly. Yeah, it's the second time he's done it uh, so far in this game. 
Well, the tip, the tip to the opposition is to let him lie there and don't touch him. The moment they put a hand on him, they negate the voluntary tackle. But it uh, could easily have been four points in this match today, because twice he's done it. And twice Manly have obligingly put a hand on him. Here he is again. And that has worked, Matthew Rich. The kicking from Cronulla. Matthew Rich playing much deeper. Well, he's dropped back now because it's late in the tackle count. But instead of being five to ten metres behind the front line, he's now back 20 to 25 on most occasions. Healy again with this beautifully accurate kicking style. I won't go the whole hog, but I'll tell you what, he's not far behind Stewart when it comes to accuracy and precision off the boot, this fellow, Mitch Healy. He loses very little. And he's got the length as too as well though. Perhaps he can kick them 40, 50, 60 metres. And uh, we were all worried, I suppose, the Cronulla supporters worried that when Matt oh. Rogers is out about their goal kicking, but he's kicked superbly as well. And they've gone off into the centres. Here's Lyons, and Lyons gives it on for Kosef. Danger time now, two and a half minutes left on the clock. Manly can hurt you from this end of the field, and Romano. Getting the arm free, finds Hasler. Had loop football from the service, but they do it very well. Ridge now finding Gartner. And this is Cunningham. Long and Nickow making the tackle. Hasler's pass goes over for Kosef. Kosef now starting to attract a lot of attention from opposition teams. Such is his talent. Gartner, Moore, Lyons, Elsgood. Oh, now who did it come off? Lyons is saying it came off the, the tackler. Cliffy is blowing up. He's not happy. And I think the replay might, might agree with him. Watch it. No doubt that Danny Lee has deflected the ball from the grasp of Lions, and it should be a manly feed. But Cronulla come up with the ball. Bateman, Green. Cross now for Healy to come back into the centre. Right on the halfway line. And talking of halfway, that's where we're at. Inside the last 60 seconds of the first half. Ritson. Nathan Long. Oh! Gartner went low and Roberts hit him with the shoulder. Green, the kick. Safely with Manley. Kosef. Lyons. Wants to spread it for Hopalwate. Bell has got him with Barnett. They show him the sideline. Lions now they've got plenty of personnel on the left. Can they spread it quickly? Menzies, Ridge. Now Cronulla gets a cross. More Menzies. Menzies has put away. Ten seconds left. Hasler. Kosef coming back to work on the blind side. Ridge. Dummy to Moore. Gave it to Hasler. Hasler taken by Danny Lee. And the siren about to sound. There it is, Paul McBlain says, one more tackle. Ridge, he chips, Green takes it. And that's the end of the first half. An amazing first half. And this crowd loving it. Absolutely loving it. Manly drew first blood. And the Sharks answered. Came back with both barrels and lead. Two tries to one. 14 points to eight. And welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. We've got Cronulla 14 to 8 over Manly. And uh, a most exciting first half of football. Just tinged with that uh, slice of controversy. And that green was in front of the kicker. As Manly come back. Loser of this will play Newcastle next weekend. Romano in 16. Still on for Manly. 
They had their problems in the first half with injuries to Carroll in particular. And, uh, Blocker suspected that Cliff Lyons had a problem. Lyons is back there, as you can see. But, uh, Johnny Lang in particular would have to be very happy. Tackle count. Enormous. There's the problem with Cliff's uh, arm, shoulder, whatever. 114 to 87 in total. Forwards work rate for Manly. Ian Roberts, uh, as per usual, up there in the tackle, 17. That's a great effort by him. And uh, Nick Kossoff also doing well. And Mark Carroll is leading the way in the hit-ups department. Whilst for Cronulla, uh, very evenly shared there. Danny Lee, Les Davidson in the tackling. And the hit-ups, uh, well, the top three there doing seven each. Aaron Raper, of course, from Dummy Half. Having a great game around the rucks. Breeze. Favoring the team running right to left, which in the second half is Cronulla. Here is Solomon Hormono. First use of the football. Back to the 20 metre line, which is a good gauge. He did well. And now Hancock. Carroll. I suspect might have had a needle at half time. I see that bandage is now off the ankle. Roberts with that right knee of his very heavily protected. And switch it from left to right. This is Cunningham. Two metres on the Manly side. Five tackles gone. Ridge gets his kick in just in front of the Cronulla defence of Raper. And Samet watches it go dead in goal. Fourteen to eight. Makes a big difference, Peter. That extra roll into the dead end goal, doesn't it? Chance of pinning them down close in the corner. Now a twenty metre restart, and Manly aren't going to get the ball back to well in their own territory. It's all the difference in the world, isn't it? So it's a game of inches, and it's, it changes the course of the game if you can. Oh, That's why a lot of a lot of kickers, I think, instead of kicking towards the, the sidelines, look to get into the in-goal area, bigger target, maybe more wide open spaces. Coach Johnny Lang has left Adam Ritson on the uh, on the park. An example of how hard he is to pull down. Raper's kick, working down the narrow corridor on the blind side. It comes down okay for Manly. Hancock. What's the bounce of this ball? First off it beat Hancock, then Raper had a chance at it. And Manley bringing it away from their 30-metre line. In fact, Hormono has got it outside the 40. And Hasler improves down into Cronulla's territory. The last tackle. And Danny Moore puts it through the hands. Elsgood puts the kick back into the centre. Taken by Green. Two on two here. Green gets his pass in for Barnett. He beat Ridge but was pulled down desperately by Kosef. Nathan Long. Heavy stuff in the centre from Homono. Greenhill. A field goal early this half, Stirler. I think they'll try and put the kick up because they have so much success. If they can get a little bit of possession down here. If Bell gets through, they might score. And it's it it it. Yes, he's over. Cronulla, third try. I don't think they're going to kick the field goal. Maybe later on, but at 18 8 with a kick to come, they're sailing along. A missed tackle from the Seagulls. Early in this second half has hurt them badly. Paul Green is having a, a stormer out there. He took the kick from Ellsgood. The cutout pass, Jeff Bell, beautiful footwork to get back inside. He beat two defenders. Eddinghausen out of the clutches of Craig Hancock to score the try. Two misses. 
and it's four points. Well, he's been the hero for them today, Jeff Bell. Late inclusion in the side with the withdrawal of Matt Rogers. Look at him, beautiful footwork here to get through Hopperati. Then the fend on Menzies and E.T. backing up on the inside. Great hands from Eddie Housen as well. It wasn't an easy one to take. They're one of the few sides, Cronulla, that play both their centres together in attack. Most sides like to have a left centre and a right centre at different parts of the field. But Eddinghausen and Bell are often found together in the line. And they've directed a lot of traffic towards John Hopperwadi. And Hancock over here in Manly's right-hand defence. Now, we said before the game, Jeff Tuvey was a loss, but particularly in defence because he can read those types of things. At the moment, Manly playing without a half-back and an organiser in defence aren't picking up when Eddinghausen makes that trip round to the other side of the field as they've been caught short in numbers a couple of times. So 18 points to eight. The try coming four minutes into the second half. Mitch Healy, 75% thus far. And a further two points on the total. A problem for Manly, 20 points to eight down. First minute. Matthew Ridge. And he starts. He was left grasping at mid-air. The Cronulla try laid its foundations. That's the second time in a row Adam Ritson has put Mark Carroll on his tail. Carroll coming in for the big hit. Now the previous time. He came off second best and was really dazed. I think Carroll's got to get his mind on the job rather than just trying to get these big hits on. I think the field goal is more attractive if they get down there with this 12-point lead. It's another good kick from Healy. That'll sit up in the in-goal area. Eddinghausen, it's a surprise to see him leading the chase, the pass throw, and look at the defence there. Eddinghausen, long. Danny Lee, is that him? Great chase. Of course, Mitch Healy will keep finding the end goal from 40 and 50 metres out. Manly aren't putting enough pressure on Cronulla at their end of the field. Cronulla are easily getting out through dummy half running and little plays on the edges. And Healy can kick at that 50 metres into the end goal. The chase there just does the rest. Carroll. Roberts. Menzies. Menzies. Down eventually by Nickow. Ridge. Waiting his kick down into the end goal. Samet willing it over the dead ball line. Inches again, Stella. When it left the boot, it was going to be in the end goal area, wasn't it? Matthew Ridge looking on with concern. He wants it to pull up. And there's the disappointment. Back out to the 50, long kick from Healy, and they're back where they started. This is Greenhill. Penalty against Manley inside the 10. Or is it the high tackle? It's a high tackle on John Hopawate. Now I'd be very tempted if I couldn't score in the first four or five to slot the field goal over. You can't see where the high tackle is there. They've got some good variety here, Cronulla. They'll go right across the field in one play. Well, they'll work two or three here on the left-hand side and then go to Eddinghausen out wide. Eddinghausen and Bell both out on the right-hand side of the field there already. The centres together on the far side. They'll either go there on the first play, but they'll hit a couple up here short and then go very wide. Danny Lee, 15 metres out. Score here. And that would near enough to wrap it up. Get your mark there as you're playing against Manly. Manly coming away with it. Hopawate. Hancock. Menzies.
Roberts. Roberts. Begging for somebody. Hasler's there. Tackled on the halfway line. Lions. Inside ball. Kosseth. Ridge. Hasler. Kamala surging in in defence. Now from Lyons, short passing, Roberts, taken by Nikau. Five tackles gone. Lyons, push it along the line, Kossef turns it in. Ridge back for Lyons, Lyons for Hasler. Hasler, pass went forward, chance for Quinella. Bateman. Senna. Nikau has only done 11 tackles, but a lot of those have been very important ones. Another player's claiming a dangerous tackle there. The referees has told Summit to get up and play. Greenhill puts his hand up. Strong tackle from Roberts, but Greenhill bounces out. That's a good run. 28 out from his own line. Cliffy Lyons' game is really suffering today from the, from the absence of Jeff Tooby. He has to play one off the ruck, and a lot of the play from Manly is around the edges. The only time he got wide was in the first half, and Manly came up with a try. Cliffy Lyons on the edge of the ruck is extremely dangerous, but he can't position himself there without his regular halfback in Tuvi. Robbie Kearns has gone on for Cronulla. As Ridge comes back, Eddinghausen picks him off. Danny Moore gives it for Elskud. Eddinghausen tackles him as well. Lyons. Inside ball, Menzies. Brilliant evasive work from the second rower. Leading try scorer. Now, Carroll. Davidson waits for him and puts him down. I think the next 10 minutes is the most important for Manly. If Cronulla can hold on, Roberts can't beat the tackle of Green, but he gets the ball away. If they can lead by this margin with 20 to go, they'll steal themselves to get home. But if the, the Seagulls can put something on the board shortly, all of a sudden it's a whole new ball game. Here's John Hopawati, held inside the 30-metre line. That was the difference with Lyons too wide there. He's able to get Hopawati into space. Now Cliffy Lyons goes high and across. They'll bat it back down if they can. They do. Hasler through Lyons and again they kick. Cunningham. Raper, he makes the mistake. Manley gets a great opportunity here. Oh, what a great kicking game Owen Cunningham's got. We saw him do a rubber in the first half into the in-goal area. And now he puts up the bomb. And Aaron Raper, who's not a fullback, heading back for it. And good perseverance here by Cunningham. It's the lucky break that Manley have been waiting for. Espy is on, Carroll is off, Ridge goes across, Lyons puts the ball down, it was meant for John Hopawate. It's played by Nick Kosseth, Hasler brought down just inside the 20 metre line. Manley obviously need to be the team to score next. Gillespie, Hasler, Roberts, Pomano. the line underneath them and now decoy one way and Cunningham goes straight long did well Hasler pushes it out Lions are oh, Menzies gets 22 Stephen Menzies scores his 22nd try of the year and this combination makes it look oh so easy it was the weight of the pass and the timing of it it comes across as we freeze played there, the quality of the pass has put this player in all sorts of... He's staying out there, it's opened up the hole, but the timing of the pass was what opened up the gap. Menzies, he's been the recipient a lot of occasions this season. Well, they've actually had four on four there, Cronulla and Manly, but uh, Cliff Lyons just weaved some magic and drew two of them. Menzies into open spaces. It's a nice play from Manly, the centre threatens the outside of the defender. Menzies waits for the short ball. If the defender comes in on Menzies, he hits Hopawati wide. It's a play they've used all season. It looks simple, 
but you need a player the class of Cliff Lyons to be able to do it. And again, out on the edges of the ruck, far more effective. So Ridge. Beautiful kick, and it comes in so accurately. 20 points to 14. Healy starts us, and now that field goal, even more important. Manley on the second tackle, this new set of six, played by Craig Hancock, and David Gillespie shoulders his way beyond the 30-metre line. Desi has luck. And there's work around, Hasler does more than his share. Now, Crosser using Cunningham. Fifth tackle gone. Very good set for Manley. Lions, a little bat along the line for Danny Moore. And he throws the pass. Cronulla come up with it. This is the first tackle. Get a bit of wind in their sails, the Seagulls. Oh, from being oh, strong tackle there from Menzies. And it's forced another mistake. Great stuff from Steve Menzies and his teammates acknowledge it. Yeah, so he's not only a great runner of the football, but look at him drive as powerful hips and legs. His defence has improved out of sight this season, especially front on. It's two from Aaron Raper now, one from the drop ball. Down the line, they scored soon after. There's another handing over of possession inside his own half. So Manley come very wide early. Danny Moore, halfway line. Hopawate pushes away from the fullback, runs into the hooker. 40 metres out, centre of the ground. Hasler for Roberts. Now Cunningham, stampeding across the top of them. It's like a pocket rocket. Hasler. Much more urgency now from Cronulla. They realise that this is getting very iffy. And here they go. Manley. Manley. They're in again. Two mistakes at their own end of the field, two tries. And still with 23 minutes left on the clock, they've turned this game all around, Manly. You can never write them off. Here's the driving tackle from Menzies to give his side a scrum win. And six tackles later. The option of running the football, a long cutout pass. Cliff lines, the inside ball to Hermano, out of that tackle, through those tackles straight over the top or through Richard Barnett also. And once again, the inside ball from Lyons and Homono, look at him. He knocks him out of the way like the white Power Ranger and over he goes. Solomon Homono, good try to the Eagles. <laughs> oh, that'll do, huh? Cliffy Lyons again at second receiver. Kosef, as in the first try for Manly, pushed Push lines too wide. I watched Cliffy lines through the whole set of six there. It didn't look like much was happening for Manley. He directed them right and then left and then right. He waited for his opportunity. Pushed Kosef into first receiver so he could get out to the edges. And then the Mercurial. He's the best. Cliffy Lyons. Another side behind the line there. A couple of heads have gone down. They look fairly comfortable at 20 points to uh, eight. Manly storming back into it, E.T. talking up. They did a lot of celebrating after Andrew Eddinghouse's try, a lot of celebrating. There were big smiles and pats on the back all the way back to the halfway. Just got them off their rhythm a little bit. Manly have sensed that and come back very quickly. 
Same in the first half. Manly scored the first try. A lot of pats on the back. You open the game up with the perfect way. And then Cronulla ran in a couple before half time. Same things happen now to Cronulla. And there is some head shaking going on back there. Andrew Weddinghouse especially. Ridge. Ridge, I think he's missed it. Yeah. Just outside the uprights. So Cronulla's in front, but only narrowly. This is how it looks. Head on, and Lions, the infield, pass for Homone. This all the momentum was going across field, and Healy and Nikau were both going across, and that opened up the hole. You go to a lot of football to see Matthew Ridge miss a conversion, won't you? It'd be ironic if Manly would have failed on a Ridge miss conversion when he's won them so many games during the year. Steve Roach, another perspective down there. Yes, Matthew Ridge, uh, his left hamstring, a bit of a strain there for him. One of the things Bobby Fulton said to his team at half-time was, boys, just hang in there, don't panic. We will get a little bit of football. Cronulla have had it all in the first half. Now the tide's turning. I think Desi Hasler has just put this manly side alight. You know something, Steve? You reminded me to check the, the total number of tackles. At one stage, it was like 120 to 80. Manly, having made the most tackles, it is now all but level. Cronulla 160, Manly 155, and that's all turned around in 20 minutes. And Aaron Raper offside here. Kick was charged down, touched by one of his teammates. He was a mile offside. He really should have known this. There's the charge down. Raper sees it clearly, but still goes up and catches the footy. This is Gillespie. And that was on the last tackle, so this is two sets of six in a row for the Eagles. I think some people think that the charge down, there cannot be any infringement at all. The only thing about the charge down is there's no knock on. All other rules still apply. Homona. Oh. Intercept. Cronulla's come up with the ball, but Solomon, he can pop a pass. In fact, Menzies had it. Well, that's nearly stolen, isn't it? Well, some referees would penalise. You're quite right, Phil. I think they both had a hand on it, two hands on it. That's off the knees of Barnett. Manly crowd appealing for a penalty. They thought there was obstruction. Turns from Green away, and that is Ryan. 19 to go. Cronulla by two, on the last, Healy's kick, with the rest of Cronulla's game, headed downhill. Well, Cronulla right through that set of six was very bunched, right through the game they've been spreading the ball wide and running manly around, if Cronulla intend on protecting a two point lead for the last 18 minutes of this clash, they're going to lose. They've got to go on with what's got them to the front in this stage of the game, and that is moving the Manly defence around. If they go negative and protect the lead, Manly will get them. Here's Roberts away from Greenhill. And then was forced back. Concentrated defence from Kearns. Menzies. Starting to stand tall. The ball has been raked out. Penalty Manly. I just see the uh, Manly trainer, Brian Hollis, running to the sideline there, shaking his arms, waving as though one of the Manly players can't go on. It's it might be Matthew Rich. It is, he's going to come off. It's and, Sh plus F. and Shannon Nevin will come on, the Manly reserve grade fullback. A big chance for him, taking over from Matthew Rich right now. Played by Gillespie for Hasler to work on the left of the ground, and Roberts... Roberts makes the 20 metre line. Oh, he's had a game, let me tell you, Roberts. Manly, they're starting to extend now. Yeah, he was a mile offside, that Cronulla player. A mile offside. Yeah, it was Paul Green getting up very quickly. They can't hold on here, Cronulla. This is the third, fourth set of six almost in a row. Who's going to kick now with Matthew Ridge off? Tiffy Lyons? Well, no, Shannon Nevin is a goal oh, kicker. Oh, he's a goal kicker? Yeah. Well, this is a big call. This is a big call, not going for the kick of goal. They kick it backwards 10 metres. Makes it a big set of six for Cronulla. 
Kiki wears a chance to even the game up. Anyway, we'll see what unfolds. Hormono. 13 metres out from the Cronulla line. Gillespie. Hasler works the blind. Back to Menzies. Now for Hasler. It's gone back to Kosef. Lions. Shannon Nevin. 12 metres out. Hapawati. Three metres out. 2018, Cronulla in front. Hasler. Five tackles gone. Lions is deep on the left. Here he is. Oh, Paul Green. That's Bobby Simpson. Well, I really thought the play before that, Des Hasler just going from dummy half was a, a real waste. There was much more of a chance on that side the previous play than allowing Cronulla to get set. Take from Paul Green. Manly can't afford a penalty here. They've got to make Cronulla kick. Turns. Quarter of an hour to go. Healy. And that kick end on end over the head of Jack Elsgood. And that was in the scrum on the 30 metre line. Exactly what Cronulla needed. They either needed another set of six through the penalty or to get some respite by picking up a lot of yards from the kick and taking their time to get to the scrum. Badly positioned Elsgood over there. Allowing the ball over his head. No reason for him not to be standing near his sideline. He knew that Manly needed the ball. They had Cronulla on the run. In the dying stages of this game, it wouldn't surprise me to see Menzies may go back out to the centres and Hopawati over onto that left wing. He is very, very dangerous on the left-hand side of the field. Playing at right centre at the moment. Here's Danny Moore angling back in. And angling back into the arms of Andrew Ettinghausen. Manly off their own 30 metre line with Kosef driving. 10 metres to the 40 for Hasler to give for Roberts to be met by Nickham. Wise in hindsight now, Peter, but I do think the shot at goal was the, was the option there. Even if you only had your second string kicker on the field, he is quite adept at it. And your second string kicker would have put it dead, I think, anyway. Well, that was the option. You were going to get the ball back. Lions kicks, Menzies is striding out. Samet turns to be confronted by Lions. Nothing wrong with his arm now. He made that tackle with the one we had the suspect on. Again, no penalty against Manly here. They need the ball back. The wingers have got to retrieve this next kick. Sean Ryan. Just looking at that isolated shot of Cliffy Lyons, that arm has drooped since that tackle. Green, incisive run. Raper, numbers for Cronulla. Raper kicks. Was it the right option? Nevin, taken by Eddinghausen. Well, he's made it the right option. Great chase there. Cronulla just need to come up with a good set of six here. That's two tackles gone. Still five Manly players coming back on side. Hancock out of dummy half. Three tackles now. Danny Moore. Just inside the 30-metre line. Hasler. Well, Manly. It's been a bad set of six. This has probably been it. As far as the improvement of the football is concerned. They're going to struggle for a long kicking game with Matthew Ridge off the field too, not just his goal kicking. Cliff Lyons doesn't kick the ball that far, and you saw from Shannon Nevin there, hardly gained any ground at all. So Cronulla probably going to play a territory game here, backing Mitch Healy against the Manly kicking game. 12 minutes to go. This is Jeff Bell. 
two metres into Manly's area. And a knock on a dummy half. Well, Aaron Raper is having a day you'd rather forget. He's having a half you'd rather forget, that is for sure. You just cannot afford that in quarter-final, semi-final football. Good attacking options here for Manly. Almost a centre field scrum, a wide blind side, lines to the open. That's where they go, the run around. Switch back. Oh, great Ooh, defense. Green. Snuck up on the other side oh. of the scrum. Well, they look forward, but the referee said play on. Hancock. Desperately trying to lift themselves back into the mode they were in in the first half. Desi Hasler, 30 metres away from the Cronulla line. Moore, Roberts, Lions, oh, the pass was bad. Knocked down, Cunningham. Now it's with Healy. He's going to put the scrum down. That side's now guilty of making really simple mistakes. She might have come off a Cronulla hand, that one. We'll knock on both ways. Let's have a look how line ball this decision was. Pass thrown by Kosev there. No, good decision. So Barnett comes off the left wing to take the first play. Danny Lee. And Canella loved to get close enough to the try line so that they could put one into the in goal area and get another set of six. Nickow. 40 metre line. Healy. Oh, Green. Oh, clipping Lions. He's got Menzies and Hancock with him. Hancock, he's away. Hancock. Scores for Manly! 22 to 20! Well, Paul Green has been Cronulla's best player. And can you believe it? He's thrown a pass here that may well cost his side a quarter-final win. He was expecting someone to come off the shoulder. Nobody was there. He threw it without really looking, and Cliff Lyons picked it up. Barnett was chasing. He was the quickest man. Greenhill coming across, so too Healy. Cliff Lyons committed Barnett and gave Craig Hancock a simple run to the try line. Well, it was a planned move with a Sean Ryan, the man that hit the football, who just never made it. Lack of communication there through by the Sharks. You can't get this man out of the game, can you? Cliff Lyons, man on the spot. Then the draw and pass situation took the winger out and Craig Hancock finishes it off nicely to the Eagles. It's a great play of Cooper Lyons. That's not an easy play. Defender coming at you quickly from behind. But he just makes it look so easy. Paul Green down at the moment. Eddie Ayers and trying to encourage him. There's still time on the clock for Cronulla. They've got to forget about this. They've got to forget about the point they're behind. The, the fact they're behind on the scoreboard. You've just got to look at the next seven or eight minutes. Forget about the previous 72 or three. If someone had told them this morning they were two points behind with eight minutes to go, they'd believe they could win. They've got to forget about how they've got themselves in this position. What I want to get out for you is a statistic. The half-time total tackles and a comparison for you and then line it up with what the tackle counts are now. And you will, I'm sure, get... What an incredible statistic of second half tackles made by Cronulla. They're going through what Manley did in the first half and, and then some. Nevin strikes it sweetly. Ah, oh, no problem. 24 to 20. Aaron Raper's head goes down. Kick off for Nevin, sending Hermono back to the 10-metre line. 
I don't know if Manly know the words uh, close it down, but uh, holding on to this four point lead, so I'd be suggesting they do, but uh, I don't think it's in their makeup somehow. It'd be a good time to learn, Fatty, wouldn't it? I think you'll see the forwards come in and try and take more control. Desi running from dummy half, hitting it up, one out. They've got to put the ball out over the sideline. They don't want Cronulla from broken play running the ball back at them. Asler from dummy half again. It'll be very simple. With the game he's had, Des Hasler, as Blocker said, he's lifted the man side in the second half and they were down 28. His quickly lines goes for a run. Got a deflection. Menzies is coming down the ground fast. Barnett, tackled by Menzies. 32 and three quarter thousand people here today. Samet. Andrew move on for Aaron Raper. Got a long way to go here, Cronulla. And three tackles, they're 60 metres away from where they want to be. With that line set out there with Nickow again scouting wide, but they go to Davidson to take it to centre field. Just under six minutes on the clock, Sterlo. This part of the semi-final, you're really drawing on reserves, aren't you? The energy reserves are gone. It's really just your heart that's carrying at the moment. Manly really screaming at each other to get up in defence. Healy's kick. Elsgood has to leave the ground high to bring her down on the 20-metre line. This is Moore. Doesn't probably get the, the limelight, the spotlights of the Terry Hills and the John Hopper Wattis. He's done some very safe things out there for Manly. 40 metre line. It's the last tackle now. Where will Cronulla come up with the football? Going through on lines. Samet misses the first bounce, he didn't get a good one, so it's 10 metres out. Now 90 metres to travel. With four and a half minutes left on the clock, it's a long way. That statistic I was talking to you about, Cronulla's second half tackles, 125 to Manly, 73. So if we thought Manly was doing it tough in the first half, Cronulla, they've been asked to do it themselves in the second. Very hard to do it at both ends. It's a, Danny brave, Lee. it's a brave effort by Cliff Lyons. We know he's injured in that right shoulder. He's had Les Davidson and Danny Lee charge at him in the last couple of minutes, and he stood his ground. Nice short pass from Green. His confidence undoubtedly would have suffered. Try to externally look as though you've got it out of your system, but it's it's uh, in there, firmly embedded in the mind of young Paul Green. Ian Roberts just about to play the football. He's had a magnificent game today. 32 tackles leads the way for the Manly side. And 15 hit-ups leading in both departments. What a great player he's been for the Eagles today. Cunningham. Just three minutes of this quarterfinal to go. Menzies, one of the manly try scorers, one of the inspirations in one of the great comebacks. Lions inside for Nevin. The last. And uh, it's Kosef over the dead ball line. No, not the right play there. I'm not quite sure whether it was a field goal attempt or not, but they didn't want it down the other end of the field. Really, the kick was to get it into the in-goal area or put the bomb up. All this has done is give away 20 metres. If you're the manly defence here, you're just looking at Eddinghouse and you're trying to wonder which side of the field. They're short there on the left-hand side where he is. Eddinghouse and behind the play, the ball waiting. Now he files back to the left-hand side to back, come back at Hobbawardi. It's up to someone in the manly side to read where he's going. Danny Lee bumps his way up to the 40 metre line. Green, now they go looking for ET. He runs the decoy. Bill goes down the sideline. 40 metres out, 
Eddinghausen's with it now. Can have a shot straight back across. Green, Nickow. That's Ryan. Knee the dummy half. This is the last. Green. It's well positioned. And Shannon Nevin was too. Then forced back into the end goal. One and a half minutes left. Manly will be in no hurry to restart this from the line dropout. That they'll take as long as humanly possible. Nevin did a good job. It looks a bit to Cronulla. Their last set of six. I've got no doubt what will be in the, on the end of this set. A towering Mitch Healy bomb. No doubt about it at all. Johnny Lang knows there's still a chance. And the referee's called timeout. Needed to do so there. 115 left in this game. Toby Lyons. Not a bad drop kick. 42 metres to Bateman. He goes back to 25 metres on one. Now, turns 20 metres on two. Eddie Housen back to the left-hand side of the field. Here he comes. Neve for Green. They go away to the back and they find Eddinghausen. Now Bell. Bell's put down 19 out. Third tackle. 14 seconds on the clock. The fourth tackle is with us. Bell for Green. Green tries to get away. Now. Knee. Healy. Turns it inside. Lee. Knee. Green. Green. It goes to ground and Manly have got it. And they've got the quarter-final. He's ruled Manly's knocked this on. If there's a scrum fee, no can only get one more chance. No time. The siren will sound. And Paul McBlain says there is no more. The face of Andrew Eddinghausen carries with it. The disappointment. 24 to 20. Oh, it brings to a close the opening weekend of quarterfinals of the Winfield Cup. We have had four incredibly close and exciting matches with Manly coming from 20 to 8 down to win 24 to 20.